In this lecture, we will learn about the sixth hands-on project we will create in this course, a video game with Unity. Unity is one of the most popular game engines in the game industry, and about one-third of all the top games are developed in Unity. To code games in Unity, game developers use the C-sharp programming language, which is the only programming language that Unity supports. If you want to develop games as a career or hobby, then it is essential that you build up your skills in Unity and have a strong understanding of C-sharp. The more C-sharp you know, the better games you can build in Unity. For the hands-on project, we will build a survival horror game in the style of games like Resident Evil. Our game will be a first-person shooter game that features four weapons, an AR-15, a handgun, a sniper rifle, and grenades. Other key aspects of the game will be a top-down minimap, health bar system, and AAA quality level design including exploding red barrels. We will also code AI logic to make the zombies chase the player, and trigger in-game events that communicate with the central game manager class. Game development is a field that relies heavily on object-oriented programming, so get ready for some practical, hands-on coding of topics like subclasses, inheritance, and overriding functions. Unity is also used to develop high-quality mobile applications, so the skills that you learn in this hands-on project can be applied to more than just game development. Fields like the military and medical fields use Unity to build VR simulations and training programs that have a real-world impact. I work in the game industry, so this hands-on project was especially fun for me, since I have been using Unity for several years in both the professional capacity and for side projects, and also for teaching Udemy courses. I'm super excited to share some of the professional techniques I learned in the game industry in this action-packed section of the course. In the next lecture, we will look at a recap of what we learned in this section of the course.